Morning guys, welcome back to Dub Ventures and welcome to an absolutely fantastic campsite. We're at a campsite called Clactal Beach Campsite. Packed over here, Graham and Sharon packed over there, views over there, absolutely stunning. Morning Thor, morning Brooke, morning Graham. Morning. Quick question, would you recommend this campsite? Definitely, just for the views alone. Beautiful, yeah, absolutely stunning. beautiful. Like I said, the views over there, absolutely stunning. What you need to do is you need to watch last week's video um, to see all about that, but absolutely stunning. It, I mean, this has got to be one of the best campsites we've ever stayed in. What do you think, Brooke? Oh, it's love, yeah. Peaceful, yeah, one of them. So anyway, today, today's plans, Brooke. What are we doing today? I'm going to Rogi Falls. I'm going to Rogi Falls. And then we're going to a campsite called Admia. And we're staying there for two days. Now, if you're not following um, us on YouTube at the moment, you need to hit that subscribe button because we're on the NC500 in Scotland. We're about halfway through. This is this the fifth day? Fifth, 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 fifth or sixth day? Sixth day. Do you know what? We've lost track of days, and that's not a bad thing because that means that we're having like a good time. We're not like counting days and stuff. So, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get in the road because we're actually on the hunt for some Wi-Fi today. Because I need to upload a video for you guys. So we're going to go and find some Wi-Fi, and then we're going to get to Rogue Falls. We'll catch up with you guys then. Right, before we set off, we're just going to check in with our friend Danny, who's got his rooftop tent. He's parked over there because we're all going to be convoying over to Rogi Falls, so... Right guys, we're in Ullapool and we're just in Tesco, you can see that over there. We're just parked here. Now we were going to go to Rogi Falls today, um, but the campsite that we're staying at, we're staying at it for two days. So we've decided we're going to go to Rogi Falls tomorrow. Oh, you're going to put that in the bin. And the reason for that is, if you can just see there, got that set up. I'm trying to upload um, the Thursday video to bring it to you guys. Now, it's going to take three hours. So we're basically going to have to sit here three hours to upload this video but that's the way it is so I'm gonna stay here for a little bit chill out and then catch up with you in a bit right guys as you know before we sat in Tesco car park we were sat in there for three hours trying to upload that video and there's a three hour limit on parking in there so we had to move to this car park which is just behind it and this is actually a free car park that you can park in. So a bit of information for you there. Um, you know, if you want to like spend a bit longer, you can park in this free car park. Got Brooke sat in the van over there and the video has finally just uploaded. So now we can get over to the campsite where everybody else is. So see you at the campsite.
Right, so four hours later, we've actually arrived. Look at the view. Packed up now, uh, we're not proper set up yet, we've just all been having a chat, I mean that view, that view. Unfortunately, Danny and Charlotte don't have this view, that's why they're over here, trespassing, <laughs> on, our, on our spot, but they're packed over there, so we'll show you their setup later on in case you know you, you do have tents and rooftop tents and so on. Just thought I'd have a quick look around Graham and Sharon's setup, if you've been watching all the other videos. Oh, sorry Thor. <coughs> yeah, 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 Archie's there, it's okay. So, yeah, this is obviously a Vauxhall Vivaro. We have shown it on some videos before, but... And how long did it take you to clean? Because I just said I'm going to film inside. That's how tidy it is all the time. <laughs> Where, where's the tidy bucket? Well, let's not go into that, but... Yeah, nice camper van. Right, we're all set up and everything, so what we're doing now, we're all going for a walk and see how far we can get to an island over there. So we're gonna have a walk and see if we can sort of get around to it, so. This is an extra bit of the campsite um, and we're on our walk and just so happens to be that we're walking past where Danny is set up with his car and his rooftop tent. Looking good. Yeah. Fiance, yeah, it's Danny's fiance. Guys, how fantastic is it having this sort of like right next to the campsite? I don't know if you can see, but the campsite's just behind us over there. And did you mean to step in that water then? Uh, testing out your boots? But no, seriously, I know I say it so many times and like use the same word, but how else can I describe this other than fantastic? Just have to say, Brooke is the one that organised all of these campsites and you put like well, about three weeks of study into like find all these campsites, but you know what? High five for picking some really good campsites. Really, really glad. We're only halfway around, so, but no, stunning campsites so far. Absolutely amazing, no words. When you drive into this campsite, I'll just show you. This is a reception area here, and then you drive down to there. That's where all the pitches are on the front. And then back to this view for the night. Look at that. Wow. Right, we've decided we're gonna make some food, aren't we? What are we having? Mince wraps. Mince wraps, it's like our own little... Am I making it tonight? What are you cooking? I'll do the cooking. I do the cooking in the camper van, so... Let's see where Thor is. Oh, there he is. He's just having a nosy down there. I don't blame him with a view like that, so... Right, let's get some cooking done. Just for anybody that's got like a camper van and you've got an awning, that's not how you take it down. <laughs> 
it was just getting a little bit breezy and then Graham said, oh, I'll, just, I'll take this down now. And we just heard this, ah! He's on his photo, that's it. <laughs> right, let's get some uh, mints going in here. Oh, yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Nice and simple and tasty. <laughs> what are you doing there, Graham? Stand up, we'll have a look. Just having a snap. Not a spin big enough. Look at the size of that bowl. <laughs> right, that's uh, food hard, done, dusted. Still waiting for Brooke to wash some of that up because that's a deal. I do the cooking, you was do the washing up. Not, was it not a deal if I bought the cake? That does look a tasty cake. I might have to do the washing up if it means I get a tasty cake. Got Danny and Charlotte next to us now. Charlotte's uh, rocking the midgy face cover. <laughs> to be fair, there's not that many midges here, is there? I, don't know, I said that before and then they, they all came, didn't they? So, oh, look at the view over there. Absolutely superb. So, I think it's going to start getting dark here soon. So, what we're all going to do, we're going to mildly party, mildly. And you know, and just enjoy the view and just enjoy a relaxing evening. So, we'll all catch up with you in the morning. That is not a bad view to wake up to at all. all right, we're up and about. I'm just still amazed with this absolutely amazing view. Before we get anything going today, we're having a fully cooked breakfast by our favourite chef, Mr. Grey. Look at that. Right, at this Lovely. point, this is where I stop now, Ben. Eh? This is where I stop now, Ben. Sharon's cooking. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm cooking. Yeah, Grey's cooking. <laughs> So, whilst they uh, figure out who actually cooked it, to be fair, I think Sharon actually cooked it, and I just got the camera on just as Graham's actually doing it. So, I've got to give Sharon a credit and um, cooking our breakfast and everything. So, just getting the van ready and everything. Just took Thor for a walk. Today, we're going to a beautiful place called Rogie Falls. Aren't we, Brooke? Uh -huh. How far is Rogie Falls from here? About 45 minutes. It's about 45 minutes. Uh, it's an absolute must have. Right. What we're going to do is, uh, going to make breakfast with our speciality chef there. Oh, looking good there, looking good. What we're going to do then is, uh, I'm going to give you a quick tour of this campsite and tell you about the toilet facilities and everything. So, eat breakfast and then catch up with you then. Fantastic, just what's needed on a nice warm day up here in Scotland. We just parked over there. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to give you a quick look around this campsite.
Right guys, as you've just seen, just give you a little bit of a tour of the campsite. There's actually a couple of toilet blocks here. They're fine. The one that's closest to us, it's not the cleanest, but it's acceptable. The toilet block that I just showed you then, that's absolutely fine. What we're going to do now, uh, we're actually going to be heading over to Rogie Falls, like we said before. So, like I said, we're heading over to Rogie Falls. It's absolutely beautiful there, and the weather so far, it's really, really warm. So, let's ask the question. Brooke, would you recommend this campsite? Yep. Thor would recommend it, he's loving it. Great. Sharon, would you recommend this campsite? Yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah? Definitely. Now, we are actually here for two days, but because we're going to Rogie Falls today, uh, we're going to do that on a separate video. So, if you haven't subscribed already, what do they need to do, Brooke? Hit the subscribe button. You need to hit that subscribe button. Plenty more videos to come. We're halfway around the NC500 so far. Lots more adventure, lots more amazing, beautiful scenery and everything. So, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and until the next video, Bye for now.